Hi everybody, my name is Kevin Foy, and I'm very sorry that I'm not here, but one of the other responsibilities I have uh, in addition to working at St. Louis U High is that I'm an adjunct faculty member for the Jesuit Schools Network, which is the group of uh, all the Jesuit schools in the country, and I work on the leadership seminars. So, um, so I have to be off at a planning seminar to, to figure that out. So anyway, I wanted to take this time to thank you for coming and also to go through what we're going to be doing in AP Microeconomics. So some things to keep in mind. First off, micro and macro are two separate courses. Um, so we're, most of your sons sign up to take both. This semester we're doing micro. Macro will be in the spring. Uh, the vast majority take both, but technically they don't have to. What that also means is that there are two AP tests, which the guys don't always like because it means they have to prepare for two tests, but in theory they can get six hours worth of college credit. So they'll want to be careful once they kind of get a little bit closer to their college decisions uh, with what they might want to do um, based on where they're going to go and what credits they take and, and all that kind of stuff. Some schools accept threes, some require fours, some particularly hoity-toity schools want you to, you know, to go all the way up to a, to a double five in order to get your, your six hours of credit. So it really depends on where guys are going to go, and I can help them with that as we get closer. Um, I will tell you that the course is designed for the AP test. The curriculum that the test uh, goes up to is very good. Um, it's a really good exposure to econ. The graduates who go on to take either second-level econ in college or some guys who retake you know, say that the course had them well prepared for college and that they enjoyed it and all sorts of things. So I think what we do is good. Um, but maybe even more important, I try to teach guys that economics is a way of looking at life. It's, it's about dealing with trade-offs and dealing with scarcity and a lot of those sorts of things, um, much more so than just the, the technical academic portions of what we do. I want them to see life in a particular way through an economic lens. Not the only way to see life, but, uh, but it is, in my opinion, at least a very helpful one to have in, in their arsenal. So this uh, is a portion of what they were given. So this is just for this quarter. You'll notice that um, you know, right now we can kind of see where we have things with a quiz happening on Thursday. That's tomorrow that the guys, I'm sure, are very uh, working very hard to prepare for. Um, then we're going to go into Chapter 3. We'll then get into Comparative Advantage in Chapter 37. So the guys have the full semester already laid out, and it basically tells them any particular assessment when it, uh, and then which day of the week and what day of the month. So anybody who you know is is maybe in a sport and they have to bide their time very well, they should have a pretty easy time. So they kind of know what's coming. These are all the topics and the chapters and things. Um, so that should my, most of them find that very helpful. Um, Additionally, I wanted to talk to you about what the classroom experience is like. So right now, this little video uh, that I'm doing is going to be similar to what your sons do. So what I kind of am trying to never do during class is just lecture to them. The theory is if, like this situation, all I'm doing is giving information out, then I can record it. We can have the little PowerPoint. I can make my, you know, I can just draw my graphs, talk about what we're doing, and, you know, next thing you know, They'll just understand that we've shifted from S to S1. That rightward shift, demand remained the same, and now we would expect we would expect price to fall and quantity to increase. So I can do all of this, and if they're not going to be, you know, participating, then it makes more sense, in my opinion, to have them watch this. That way, when we're together in class, we can focus more on discussion. We can do actually, you know. We can actually do some experiments uh, that hopefully the guys will tell you about. We can have some debates. There's always a rousing debate on whether or not the minimum wage should be raised. Guys seem to love that stuff. Um, keep in mind that the videos are going to go along with the text. So what they probably want to do is you know, have their device showing the movie here and then have their notebook here and their textbook here. Well, actually, this is how a lefty would do it. So then they kind of take their notes. They can go through and they can write down, all right, so this is on page one. They can kind of do all of that. Meanwhile, I am here 
telling that story. Uh, my left eye didn't work out very well. That's not a very good picture. Anyway, um, just kind of sitting on their desk, video here, and then depending on right or left-handed. You know, that's just kind of a nice thing that guys have been able to do. Uh, we're also going to do a lot of work in Canvas, so I would ask them to um, always sort of be paying attention to what's going on there. That's where the assignments will be. That's where the links to all the videos will go. Uh, in terms of grades, so their grades uh, typically are, are fine. You know, seniors at this point have kind of figured out how to do things. Um, so I would anticipate that this class will be no different. The guys seem excited, they're engaged, which is, you know, the, the majority of what it takes to be successful. But I will tell you that we don't have tons of grades. You saw back here, you know, what most of our assessments are going to be. So in this quarter, there will be seven quizzes and or tests, including the, the final. Um, but then we have also will have a couple of homework papers uh, that they'll write. But for the most part, it's, it's kind of an achievement thing. There's not going to be, you know, little homework points every, every day to, to boost up their grades. So they do have to do well on those larger assessments in order to get their grade where they want it to be. Um, I just want to thank you mostly. You know, it's, I love teaching at St. Louis U High. This is my fifth year. I love working with your sons. It's re it really is a pleasure. Um, I'm really sorry that I can't be with you please feel free to reach out with me or reach out to me so that I can be of help in, in any way possible. Email is always the best, um, but telephone works well too. There are obviously questions and concerns and comments that really make better sense to do over the phone, so I'd encourage you to call. Um, if I'm not able to answer right away because I'm in class or something like that, I will call you back at, at my earliest convenience. Um, but like I said, Teaching Econ is, is something that I really enjoy, and I hope that your sons enjoy the class, even a portion, as much as I do. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, but I wish you the best, and thank you very much for showing how much you care about your sons. Take care.